Big old bell. 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 Good. 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 How you doing? So you guys know the drill. We're gonna be 15 minutes. So I'm gonna give you a two-minute rock. All right. All right. So we're gonna start now. So what can you tease about season four? <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't know what. I know nothing. <laughs> I don't know if we can. Um, well. <laughs> There's, there's some, happen. there's, <laughs> you know, Corvo and Terry continue their relationship, and you can take that as <laughs> how you want. Uh, that's, I, forgot, I don't, I have no idea. We're halfway through recording, and I forgot what happened already. <laughs> I, I, I've taken too many medications, <laughs> so uh, it's a surprise for me when I watch them. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of where we la where season three la leaves off. And it's like, yeah, I really can't. I can't tell if this is a bit or not. I can't tell if this is a bit or not. It's genuine. It's genuine. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. It's bizarre how much gets retained because you just go into a booth and like you yell uh -huh. and talk really fast, and then that, you go home, and then you're like, okay, what did I just do for? I know there's, a, I know there's like a, yeah. an office um, motif going on in season four. I don't know if that triggers any memories. You guys are going working in an office. You know what? <laughs> even even if I remembered, I'd be so scared of saying the wrong thing that I I don't know. Well, this won't come out before the panel, so if that's what you're worried about. I think I have to study before the panel. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all spoiler questions to the producers and to the writers. Well, we've already talked to them. So well, yeah. we can't give you anything more. What's the show called again? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Do you guys always stick with the script? Yeah, they let us, they, they, you give them a few as written and then you get to improv, so it's super fun. Yeah, you never want to like totally go too wild with it because the scripts are so good. Like, it's more about like finding a line or a little sequence or a reaction or something like that. I mean, I've definitely, on occasion you go, you kind of go a little wild with it and then you see what they chose a year later when they've animated it. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been trying to come up with new swear words. Okay. Like that's been a goal of mine to be, get a little more, get more interesting in my swearing. Oh. And well, a couple of those came came in in season three. Did they? I think so. Oh, thank God. <laughs> they were really like it was like a creative but not like super harsh swear word. I'm like that seems like it could be a merry one. I've, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're working. On it. Do you, Sean, you you like to you said you don't like to do as much improv. Oh. You like to just he's a real sort. He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stick to the word usually. I don't like to the letter. To the letter. Even the, the punctuation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I, I kind of but um yeah no I just pretty much say what's what's on the page. Your writer's dream, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to change. So I try to leave, like let's I try leave my clean. Mark. Let's yeah. try. Quiet. Let's let's change a few of the words. Like I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thomas, this is a little tough, but I feel like in this day and age we kind of need Silicon Valley. Have you? Are you open to it? Do you feel like that's, it's a good time to bring it back, considering where tech has gotten in the last couple of years? <laughs> I would do it in a heartbeat. It's, I'm, I'm sure those decisions are made by sure. other people. But yeah, anytime <laughs> that call comes, I'm answering it for sure. Yeah. How do you think the family story ends? Like, do you see an end point for these guys? What's going to happen? Oh, he's so scared because, like, the people, I mean, there could be other Schlorpians out there coming back to sabotage everything, and, like, anything could happen. I mean, Sean could get written off the show. I've, 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 I've heard rumblings. Yeah. Sorry to break it to you here. Yeah. This is what I found out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about season four because I'm not. <laughs> 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 I forgot 
it all. We like to pick on Sean if he can't tell. <laughs> He's the youngest and easiest to pick on. He's actually the nicest one. Can you talk about that family dynamic? Sorry, you're also nice <laughs> what was that? Can you talk about that family dynamic between your characters? Like, sometimes you guys are fighting and arguing, other times you seem like a more normal family. Yeah. I mean, these guys definitely are at each other's throats in a way, I yeah. suppose. Or maybe you're at, at her, her throat. throat. Yeah. 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 Sibling Although she's like right? slit my throat in season. Look, everybody's yeah. killing everybody. Oh. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's like we remind each other to be like nice to each other because then we're like, because we'll go to like, we'll kill each other sometimes. But but there is like a serious love there. Like it seems like the writer's always putting a lot of like good heart into each episode. I know you were saying that there's like a lot of group hugs this season. And, yeah. Yeah, this was kind of like the season of family bonding, I felt. I mean, even Corvo and husband, I mean, Corvo and Terry are like husband and wife, sort of. They're like co-workers slash like friends slash This is my lovers. question since season one is, are they married or not? And I get, I get different answers I every time. I think it's supposed to be intentionally ambiguous. I think it's... So what do you think, personally? <laughs> I think it's like a Schlorpian custom to like... That's just maybe what friends will do, or like what their version of family unit will do. I think it's I think it's uh, also undefined. I don't know. I think that's funnier than that. Is there a strong Schlorpian Bible to go by? <laughs> uh, if it, if there is, it's being written up and made up it on the spot. It kind of feels that way. Yeah. Like whatever you need for the episode, that's the new thing. Yeah, exactly. Our <laughs> several manuals supposed to be reading but nobody ever is like like he has the whole pupil manual there's that and, that he, and Terry, never, Terry never follows it well like but, Jesse and Terry have androgynous human names Bobo yeah. Yemulak have alien names yeah what's up with that I never thought about that you're right uh oh <laughs> <laughs> you're right I think that's like showing kind of like their characters, kind of like who wants yeah. to stay more true to the Scorpion way and the more Earth ways. Yeah. But Yumulak seems like he's converting to maybe wanting to be more popular and cool and stick and maybe be more human, even though he doesn't think he does. But. But it sounds like you're making that up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know if Terry is a selected human name or if it's like a humanized shortened version of like Tarangulu or something like that. <laughs> I feel like Corvos called me by my full name at one point, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was just Terrence. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it was Terrence. It was Terrence. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever go back to the writer and say, what does this mean? No, I blindly follow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make waves, man. I go in, I say the lines. <laughs> Uh, I've pitched a couple voices as like random characters, you know, because occasionally after you do your session, you might get asked to do like a, a like a line of, of another another voice or whatever, and it's always like some voice that I'm like, I'm not that good at that, but here's here's a couple ones that I am if you want like ideas for characters or I don't know, but no, it's they're doing such a good job with it. I just uh, I, I I watch the show as a fan, like yeah. straight up. I like it, <laughs> and there's enough time that happens where I forget what happens. So uh, yeah, I just basically watch it for the first time. It feels like I watch the show and I forget that I'm in the show. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's a good show. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there ever anything they give you that you're like, oh no, I just, I can't do that. I mean, I'm not going to make it physically through that line to say. Probably me more so than you guys, because like, I'm, I'm known for clean comedy. And now I'm like, doing uh, like so many swears. And I'm like, can I try just saying this? And, and then, and then like, sometimes I have like, I have friends who are Mormons and they'll come up to me and they'll be like, we love the I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna go to hell. Like, uh, uh, it amazes me. Little kids, 
little kids even are. Some, some parents let their little kids. What I'm saying is stop watching. <laughs> stop watching. <laughs> but yeah, I'm always kind of nervous to say some of this stuff. It seemed like the kids swore more in the third season than they had previously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there were some words that I looked up that I was like, I, like, I learned new vocabulary on certain, like, physical activities that were written about, and I was like, whoa, I did not, I, so it's probably good that I, like, I didn't know what I was talking about, there's there like, certain ones, but, but yeah, we did swear probably more in this one, which was kind of fun, to be honest, in some ways. Uh, next question is last question. A lot of pressure. Uh, I'm nervous. Yeah. Miss, I don't know if this is a good one, but the other guys were all saying how much Tiffany Haddish loves being on the show. Do you guys get to hang out with her? What is that like? Or is it totally? I'm never. I, I, I'm, I'm like, I feel sad. Oh, she's like, oh, she's on friends, the show. Yeah. She even runs comedy shows, and uh, my friends have been with her, and I never even got to meet her before. Yeah. Yeah. Have you bumped into her once? Yeah. 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 Yeah.